you guys welcome back to another vlog another work day in the life with me an entrepreneur in my messy office i obviously am looking a bit of a wreck which is classic for me by friday i am just like i'm at my wits end not really i love what i do but i definitely don't like do myself up or plan any filming um besides like this kind of filming for fridays because i just need to chill um and yeah this is really the one day of the week usually maybe on a thursday when i have the time and motivation to carry around my camera and kind of film the day so i just wanted to take you guys through a work day with me i am done with all of my client calls for the week i wrapped that up yesterday which is super super amazing i just had a awesome call with my two co-coaches for my foundations of online coaching program that is my signature group program and i have two amazing co-coaches who help me within that with things like scheduling teaching my clients how to do their scheduling block scheduling booking all of these things as well as social media specialization specialized trainings it is a really high ticket like high service experience and so we just had our kind of quarterly optimization call where we sit down together and talk about what we need to change what we need to keep how we can better serve our clients i would really encourage you guys to do that with all of your freelancers it's extremely important that you stay on top of you know the people that work with you work for you i just think it's really really important so couldn't emphasize can't blah, blah can't emphasize that enough but i have not had any coffee today um i decided that i didn't have time to make one before this call making a latte that espresso machine it takes a hot minute so i'm going to go make that and then i think today i want to show you guys around like the house a little bit i have a follow-up call at like 2 30 and it's currently 11 15 so i want to make sure that i you know get a lot done in between now and then but i have a few new things a few new things are going on in life and i want to show you and take you around so i will do that i think i might do a little mini house tour potentially my office is a wreck but why not show you around <laughs> whatever so i'm gonna go make coffee eat do a bunch of client support and take the information i just gathered from the call i was on piece it all together send finalized uh, contracts and things out to my people and i will see you guys at the espresso machine I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but when I get really busy with work, I kind of like forget to feed myself sometimes because I'm just at home. Also, I'm sitting in my new bar stools. <laughs> Preview of the house tour. But it's literally 11.42 and I hadn't eaten anything or drink anything besides water. <laughs> so I started dying. So I made the laziest breakfast of all time. I'm literally eating like an egg, avocado, like hummus and crackers. That's good. And then then I will make coffee, but I'm gonna be sitting here working on, I like to like after I have a call like that, like really go through and just like get everything all sorted out and optimized before I have time to like let the inspiration and the little nuances leave me. So I'm gonna do that and eat and then I will make coffee and then I'll be good. I already worked out this morning and everything. I just didn't eat, which is very irresponsible. Don't be doing that. But when you live at home, obviously, and work from home, the schedule gets a bit skewed some days. So we're here, Stevie's here, TV. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, gotta go. Okay, oh my gosh. I've gotten like sucked down the work hole and I look so tired. Oh my goodness. But I'm gonna show you guys a little trick, okay? When I'm like exhausted and I only have a few calls, like right now I just have a quick follow-up call. It's in like four minutes and I need to look like presentable, you guys. Like you have to have a quick transformation. I'm not putting on a full face of makeup usually for like one call. I do like my getting ready and doing the whole thing and like the important calls I need to like look good for <laughs> and the filming and everything. I do that all together because it's very energetically like draining and it's kind of a production. So. When I need to like quickly like look normal, if I'm literally in like sweat shorts and a sweatshirt. So what I'm gonna do, and my camera's really low. So first of all, take off the sweatshirt, okay? Number one. Number two, and just put her on the floor. Number two, we need something to go over the top because we're looking a little skimp, okay? So we come to our clothing rack now. Depending on the look, I'll throw on like a blazer, but I'm just going to throw on my trusty denim jacket. My shorts look crazy. 
trusty denim jacket here. So when I'm sitting, all you see is like this, okay? So I look kind of normal. Now I already put on a necklace, earrings. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is like a whole strategy. And then I have my blue light glasses, which really mask the exhausted eye look that I have going on very well. So I'm just cleaning them off a little bit. So I just pop these bad boys on. And then I look like your regular old librarian professional girl, like just a work from home day, nothing crazy, but literally, I mean, this is how a little lip balm, this is how we look presentable. So I have a call in two minutes. I'm gonna go pour myself some tea because I get horrible dry mouth on these calls and I will see you guys after my follow-up. Okay, I've done the probably absolute worst job of all time um, vlogging today. It's just been one of those days. Am I zoomed in? Hello? Oh my God, we don't need to be zoomed in today, ladies. No, no. It's just been one of those days where I had a lot more going on than I thought I was going to, which is fine. You guys know I typically only work like hardcore work about three days a week. Well, four more like it recently because I have a lot of traveling coming up, which means a ton of fun content for these lifestyle videos, a ton of fun like work travel content, which I know a lot of you guys wanting to travel is like a huge driver of your journey. So we're all about that. But I, that just means that I'm a little bit off my routine. And I think it's totally okay to be a little bit more busy than usual. Like the goal of my life isn't to work as little as possible. That's an important realization and note to make because whenever I talk about, oh, I work, you know, three days a week, sometimes two, sometimes five, sometimes seven, it's not like, oh, I'm trying to work as little as possible. It means I work for my goals. So if my goals one week are to spend a bunch of time with family, I'm gonna freaking cram stuff into the time when my family's not here so I can hang out with them. Hey babe. Hey. Hi. You on the phone? No, I'm vlogging, but <laughs> I was putting my shoes on. But anyways, the vibe is not, you know, to slack off work as little as possible. I put in the work for my clients all the time and then I do my work once that work is done. And so, you know, some weeks that just looks different than others. But I'm going walking for like 30 minutes and then I'm gonna shower. And girls, you'll understand this. Isn't it like the hardest? Is it not like the hardest decision ever to be like, do I put in a hair mask because then I have to wash my hair and like, what if I don't want to? And like realistically my hair really only, I only like to wear it down the first day that it's clean and it's just so difficult. So I was like, I would put in a hair mask and go for a walk and just let it soak in. But instead I think I'm gonna let it live in this disgusting bun for even a little bit longer and I'll wash it tomorrow. Because if I put a hair mask in now, then I end up having plans tonight. I'm gonna have to wash my hair and it's gonna F up my whole situation. So I'll see you guys when I'm back from my walk. And stick around because I am gonna show you the new furniture that I got for the house, um, a little bit of a house tour, and then we will have, you know, a few more chitty chats because that's what we do. Okay, so it is the next day and I'm very, the situation has very much changed. My family from London, England is here. We're currently cooking dinner. I'm just gonna take you guys along. I'm about to make some gin and tonics so you can hang with us for the evening. And then we're gonna wrap this baby up because I need to edit her tonight. And yeah, this is the tea, here we go.
Emily's cousins. They don't have names. It's Emily's cousin one, Emily's cousin two, and we don't know who that is. <laughs> okay, this has literally been the most random YouTube video of all time. I don't know what this angle is. I also look exhausted, and my cat's about to knock the camera over, but this is the reality of, also if you can hear a basketball game in the background, that's because there's a basketball game on in the background. <laughs> But apparently it's something important, but this is the reality of the like lifestyle content is that life happens and This weekend just got a little bit crazy and when I say vlogging for Friday It just gets a little wild But I did you know talk with you guys a little bit about my work week and how that looks for me and I think that if I have one like message to leave you guys with from this little piece of personal sharing content is that you have to be flexible not every single week is going to look the same and to not put all your eggs in one basket essentially like when it comes to work times like this weekend my family randomly decided to come into town literally from another country and we're going to be doing a ton of really fun trip planning and just experience sharing together and i'm really excited about it and that's that's on being flexible really and not you know being willing to put in the hard work when you need to and to take a step back when you have to prioritize other things and so that's kind of the moral of the story this weekend but i'm really glad you guys were able to join me on a very disjointed but like fun week and you guys saw me i unboxed a new iphone without saying anything i just kind of did it i didn't think i was gonna get a new phone and i did um but we've had a very fun weekend and i know i said i was gonna show you guys around the house i can show you quickly like the new things that we've acquired so it's dark right now, but I think I've shown my living room in other videos before. I just got that somewhere. It was on sale clearance actually. <laughs> but let me, so it's dark, but you can kind of see. So I got this really cool shelf, which I'm obsessed with, and I needed something to fill this massive wall, and I usually actually shoot in front of this for like photos and stuff, but I think this will give it like a cool edge and background. And then I got these super fun prints as well. This one's a bunch of different noodles, and this one is a bunch of different fruits. And so those are my main updates, as well as these bar stools, which I literally had to go to three separate targets to get each of them but i'm a huge fan and i think three was the magic number so i'm stoked about that and i think we're pretty much done as far as like large for oh i think we're pretty much done as far as like large furniture purchases go except for i want to get a new bed frame and i need a chair for podcasting in the office so anyways there's your little miniature house tour i will show you guys a more in-depth one during the daylight at some point make sure you hit subscribe because i'm posting videos every single wednesday and sunday and i'm going to be integrating another fun something um in the week starting in august so that'll be really fun for you guys to see but make sure you uh stay in the loop by hitting subscribe like this video if you like the lifestyle content and i will see you guys in the next one